Hi, I'm Titlini Hahn and this is my busy garden. It's forecast a nice day for today with rain coming in tonight so there's an awful lot I want to get done. So today's episode could be Titley's very busy garden. I'm going to start over here by the black currants. Last year when I transplanted the black currants there was this plant growing here and it was enormous and I must have left some of the root behind because it's growing up again. Now I need to kill it right down to the root if I'm going to get rid of it but before I do that I'm going to pick some of these lovely wild strawberries. I love these little wild strawberries. The flavour is so intense and they're so sweet and lovely. Mm. These really are absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Don't mind me, will you? Oh. I've put some plastic sheet here to try and make sure that I squirt the weed killer only onto the plant I want to kill and not harm the nearby plant. So I'll start with this one. The problem with this thing is that if I leave it to grow, it'll just take over the entire bed because that's what it did last year. I'm going to squirt every leaf, make sure it gets a really good dose. And this one too. I'm hoping that does the job and I guess we'll know in a couple of weeks time. The blackcurrants are starting to ripen at last and it'll only be a couple of weeks now before I can start to pick them. I've got a few what I call early ugly raspberries, raspberries that aren't properly formed. But that's not going to stop me picking one to see what it tastes like. It's kind of broken apart in my hand. But in the interest of science, I have to eat it. Tastes like a raspberry. The tabories are doing quite well, and I think I can finally show you what a tabory looks like. It's like a really long raspberry. And it tastes a lot like a raspberry too. The blueberries are coming along nicely, so hopefully I'll have enough for at least one pie. And the strawberries are coming along okay too. Hey look. My first strawberry of the season. Mmm! <laughs> Smells like a strawberry. Mm. But all is not well in Strawberry Town. This, to me, looks like the work of an insect that just eats strawberry seeds. You see how it's munched away at the outer surface? That's not slugs or snails. That's a pest. And it's one of those pests I can't do an awful lot about, other than rotate the crop for next year. This pest brought two birds into the house in the last two days. Yes, you. And thanks to my timely intervention, the little creatures survived. Bad terrorist! Bad terrorist! Another thing I need to do is to pull up these weeds that seem to infest the, uh, the strawberry patch. did last year. There's quite a lot of them and the reason I'm wearing a glove is because quite often you find cuckoo spit on this particular kind of weed. If I find some I'll show it you. Here we are, here's some cuckoo spit. It's the secretion of the larvae from a, a little insect known as a frog hopper. It's quite harmless but I don't want my hands covered in it. The strawberries are also starting to put out some runners too so in the next couple of weeks I'm going to try and get these established into pots. And on the subject of things growing, I've noticed that this rather large thing has popped up in this end of the garden, so I'm going to dig it out. If I can find out where it's coming from. There, I think. Thank you very much. Oh, and there's one next to it as well. Now, where are you growing from? Down there. That's better. I don't know 
whether you've been listening, but this blackbird has been cheeping and having a conversation with another blackbird for ages. I wish I could understand what he's saying. hoe a few of these little weed seedlings before they get too rampant. Somebody asked me this week, they said, Tiddly, is it necessary when gardening to do so much weeding? To which I say, oh yeah. By the way, my broccoli aren't doing too bad at all, are they? But I am a little concerned for my French beans. Something is eating them and it's not slugs. I think I'm going to have to Google pests and their solutions. Hmm. Time for a little coffee break. Now as you can see in this part of the garden, things are going absolutely crazy. My giant poppies have finished for the year for sure. So much so that they're actually pushing other things out of the way. And this plant, whatever it is, seems to be struggling to support its own weight. So I need to do something to help these plants, particularly along this border here. I'm going to start by trying to cut out the poppies. Look, here's another one of those weeds again. Let's see if I can find my way to the back. There's so much of it and it's actually rotting down here, so... Well that's left a bit of a gaping and rather soggy hole where the poppies used to be. But it does at least give me the opportunity to help support these plants. Sometimes I wish I was left handed. Let's tie some twine on. I'll start with this plant at the back I think. Okay, I'm hoping that these start to bend that way and grow upright. We shall see. Yeah, then this one here is the next one. Hello, Poppy. Have you come to help? Have you come to help me today? That's a very good thing to do, isn't it? Yes, it's a very good thing to do. I can't see where the blessed string's gone. Pull it out and start again. That one. I think for here I'm going to use a piece of bamboo to help support this. And another piece of bamboo here. Help support. Well, it looks a bit better, at least it's keeping it off the path. I'll just finish off by lightly turning the surface of the soil here. I'd help it to dry out a bit because it is really very soggy. Now I need to do a similar thing over here. Now all I need to do is get rid of this rather large pile of poppy detritus. Well I'm feeling a lot happier about things over here now. There's a lot more space for the existing plants to grow into. There's one more outdoor job I want to do today before the rain comes, and that's mow the lawn. On your marks. Get set. Go! Oh, pit stop. Wow, 
Wow, you can tell how wet it's been lately. I've even got shrooms growing in the lawn. Just need to trim the edges, which is made much easier since I put that plastic edging strip in. Well, after all that exertion, I'm going to take a well-earned rest on the lawn here, next to these lovely pinks, which, by the way, smell absolutely divine. Now, I need your help again to identify a few plants. Are you ready? Let's go. That's all I've got time for this week. Thanks for watching and do join me next time in Titley's busy garden. Mm -hmm.